This is grade three, module three, lesson five, exit ticket. So the first of three of our problems, we're gonna be filling in the blanks. So today's exit ticket and lesson was all about counting by sevens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count by sevens and we're gonna fill in the yellow boxes. Okay, so let's count by seven. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. If you're not sure what comes next, you can add 42 plus seven. 42 plus seven is 49. Okay, in the next problem, we are finding the next blank. So again, we're adding seven each time. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Now let's add seven. 49 plus seven is 56. Okay, our next problem, we are filling in the last blank. Again, we're counting by sevens, ready? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. If you're not sure what comes next, you add 56 plus seven, gives you 63. Now 63 plus seven equals 70. All right. So now let's take these count by sevens and we're gonna turn them into um, multiplication problems. So the rest of our problems are multiplication sentences and we have to fill in the blank, okay? So let's take our first one, let's do seven times and then we're gonna number the numbers. So this one is one. Seven times one equals seven. Okay, and the commutative property tells us that we can switch these numbers, seven times one, and the answer would still be seven. Okay, now we can take this same multiplication sentence and change it into division. Now when we're dividing, the biggest number always comes first. So the biggest number in this problem would be seven. Seven divided by seven equals one. And to complete this fact family, we can switch these two numbers, seven divided by one also equals seven. So if you think about this as in a fact triangle, seven divided by seven equals one. So seven divided by seven equals one, or we could do seven divided by one equals seven. We can also think about that this as multiplication, Seven times one equals seven. One times seven equals seven. So these are, these are really cool. You can think about them as a fact family or a fact triangle. Okay, let's look at number seven. Two times seven. If we're not sure, let's count by seven two times. Seven times two is 14. So our answer is 14. Commutative property tells us if two times seven equals 14, then we also know that seven times two equals 14. Now let's turn this into division. Our biggest number is 14. So we take 14 and we're gonna divide that into seven parts. And once we do, there's gonna be two in each part. Again, we can swap these numbers. We're gonna divide them now by two parts and there would be seven in each part. Number nine, three times seven, if you're not sure, count by seven three times, seven, 14, 21. So our answer is 21. Okay, community property, seven times three also equals 21. Number 10, 21 divided by seven equals three. Then we could also divide it by three 21 divided by three, and that will equal seven. So our fact triangle here is 21 divided by seven equals three. 21 divided by three equals seven. Seven times three equals 21. Three times seven equals 21. All right, four times seven, seven. 14, 21, 28. Community property, so seven times four also equals 28. 28 divided by seven equals four, and 28 divided by four equals seven. 
five times seven, let's count by um, fives seven times. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Or we can count by seven five times. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. Seven, five times seven is 35. So seven times five is also 35. 35 divided by seven is five. 35 divided by five equals seven. Six times seven is 42. Seven times six equals 42. 42 divided by seven equals six. 42 divided by six equals seven. Uh, seven times seven is 49. Miss it again and I'll beat you behind. That is the riddle that my third grade teacher taught me when I was in third grade and I still remember it to this day. Okay, so you can't really swap these because they're the same number. So seven times seven is 49. Miss it again and I'll beat you behind. So we now have 49 divided by seven equals seven. 49 divided by this seven is also seven. Same thing, that's the cool thing about that one. When you switch them, they're the same number, so it doesn't matter. Number 19, eight times seven is 56. Seven times eight is 56. 56 divided by seven equals eight. 56 divided by eight equals seven. Nine times seven is 63. Seven times nine equals 63. 63 divided by seven equals nine. 63 divided by nine equals seven. 10 times 70 is 70. Oh, I'm sorry. 10 times seven equals 70. Seven times 10 equals 70. 70 divided by seven equals 10. 70 divided by 10 equals seven.